Hey you guys, uh, it's me Trombone, coming at you live, but not really because I'm going to upload this a lot after I record it. Alright, anyway, um, as for my absence, uh, YouTube just wasn't as fun for me anymore, but then, um, so I just kind of stopped, took a step back, um, plus I was running out of things that I wanted to talk about, uh, but there's a lot happening, there's a lot new going on, and um, I figured I'd kick off my re-entrance rather than a This Week in Browns with a What's Next, um, as there is a lot uh, that's happened that I kind of actually want to have uh, you, you talk about, you know, just, I want to I want to talk about stuff, so let's, let's talk. Babe, I want to talk. So uh, these guys right here made an announcement um, about the NALCS. Now, this isn't all the LCSs. This is just going to be happening in, in North America. Um, it has no implication on Europe, China, Korea, etc. This is just for North America. Um, so what's going to be happening anyway is they're going to be moving down adjacent to a 10-team uh, league. However, there's going to be no more relegation, and how the 10 teams are chosen at the beginning of next spring is going to be through an application process that has already been started. Um, so that we're going to have 10 organizations who are all fielding a team, and in the ideal world that Riot has set up, also have like a, you know, B-League, kind of like the Challenger series, but a little more um, kind of like baseball has set up where they have a secondary team and there's the uh, intention of bringing those players from the B-League and lower up different divisions and then eventually into that team to kind of grow and foster um, new players to start in their teams. They've also raised the minimum salary for pro players. Doesn't really matter. It's up to $75,000 now. And... Um, also, on top of that, they're also going to have the players have the opportunity to set up a player, or uh, yeah, a players organization, a players association. So they're going to give the players all the tools. They're going to give them a uh, reference to a company who's going to be able to let them help them uh, manage their money and different things like that, read contracts, uh, basically legal representation. And then they're going to be kind of a third governing body um, within the NALCS. Overall, uh, a lot of big changes, a lot of things that I'm uh, actually excited to see. Uh, this has the potential to make North America uh, you know, more competitive in general. It has the opportunity to help players last longer, help players uh, to maintain success within their careers, and really build a system where both players and the organizations can thrive and of course, uh, Riot gets a little bit of the money that is generated, but that's going to actually be start being split so that different organizations actually have more money to put into player development and different things like that into infrastructure, um, which is if you ever hear any interviews or watch any interviews with any, any organizational leader, uh, you know, CLG Immortals, Team Liquid, they're always talking about infrastructure. Uh, and I think this will give those teams the opportunity to do that, whether they're at the top of the food chain, whether they're a TSM Cloud9, or whether they're bottom of the pack, you know, Dignitas, Envy kind of deal. And it'll give them the opportunity to actually thrive within this new system. Also, Riot uh, announced that it's going to be doing some new Ruin Mastery stuff. Why? Because they're sick of reworking the ones that already exist, so they're Taking it from scrap and starting a new one. Um, no, I, I don't really think they gave much of an explanation on that, but that's uh, that's 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 what I wanted to do. So how does it work? Combined and streamlined. And that, kids, is why you don't take things out of context. Or if you want people to think what you're thinking, you need to take the things out of context all the time. It's uh, it's a win-win-win, win-win. Just like franchising. I'm sorry, permanent partnerships. As a joke, that takes a little bit of a higher level, and then you need to know a little bit more about what I'm talking about than uh, I'm giving you right now, which defeats the purpose of an educational video. That's okay, it's an inside joke between me and those of you that care enough. Because if you don't care enough, then I don't care about you. It's a lie, I care about all you guys, I love you. I love you. I mean, we started this with, we need to talk, babe. How could I not? Okay. Anyway, 
new runes and mastery stuff. Uh, so I've done a little bit of reading, maybe two or three articles on this and a couple of videos, maybe a handful of four or five. Um, and my first impression of what they're going to be doing here is they're actually going to be getting rid of the rune system altogether even though the the name of the whole thing that they're going to do is rework uh, reforged runes uh it sounds like they're taking them all out and they're just kind of combining everything into a mastery tree um so you're going to have but it's going to be more an, of a rune layout you're going to have like your uh your keystone which is going to be like your quintessences you're going to have a major and you're going to have a minor um, and you're going to have, you're not A of each, you're going to be able to pick a couple more majors and a couple more minors than the majors than the keystone, um, to make up your rune page. And so they're all going to be free. Uh, they're all going to be for everybody to use. They're going to, uh, utilize a couple different things. It's going to be kind of a breakaway from just like buying runes to get base item stats, you know, so you don't have to buy a dagger in you know your rune page you can just use your runes to actually do what masteries and runes uh, in my opinion probably should have done for a while uh, but you know hindsight's 2020 and this does seem like a cool system and something i want to move to um but anyway uh what they're going to do is they're going to take those and it's going to be less item focused like less buying your items in runes and more uh, advantageous different kind of things. Uh, obviously, you're still going to be able to get health and a little bit of attack speed for this, that, and the other thing, but it's going to be in more of a mastery fashion. You have to do this to get this. Um, so kind of a cool idea that Riot's coming out with. I just kind of wanted to touch on it. I know that was a little a little more than a touch. But uh, it's, it's interesting. It's neat. Uh, please look it up. I'm not going to link it in the description because I'm lazy, and I have more faith in you than that. Um, but anyway, that is what is next, slash now, slash happening, slash get involved, slash uk.org, you know, hashtag Jesus win, hashtag CLG wins, hashtag I don't care if you don't believe in Jesus, hashtag I don't care if you do believe in Jesus, this isn't a judgy channel, you, you believe what you want, all right, anyway, <laughs> That about wraps up what I want to talk about. Um, it kind of goes back to the videos where I didn't know where the, what the hell I was doing. And you know what? That's a lot of fun. That's how I have fun on YouTube. And uh, that's what I'm going to be presenting. Um, as for the what's next format in the future, I might be reading patch notes. Uh, it, it, it's honestly going to feel if I'm up to it or not. Uh, if it's too big, I'm just gonna, I might just make a 15 second video that says, here's where you can find it and go look it up. But if it's uh, small and something uh, that I'm really feeling like, um, then we'll, we'll go ahead and do it for you. But that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for sticking through the break. If you're still watching this and subscribed and all that, that's amazing. And I sincerely love you. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of until next time I make a video. Later. <laughs>